Are you hungry? Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about language milestones. So we are doing the milestones in five parts. So this is the third part. If you haven't watched the two videos that we have done before on gross motor skills and fine motor skills, please go ahead and watch those videos after this video. And if you're new to this channel, hey, this is Tina. I'm a health psychologist and a mother of a premature baby. And she is Dr. Preeti Dayal, my sister. She is a gynecologist. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. At one month, they get alert to the sound. Angels and all. And at three months, they start cooing, like they use the vowel sounds. <laughs> yes, something like that. <laughs> Very sweet, adorable sweet. sound. Yeah. Who is this little baby? Is it Olive? Is it Olive? Olive Papa, na? Olive Papa, na? Olive. Are you happy? Are you happy? <laughs> At four months, they laugh loudly. Did you like it? Really, you like it? You love it, huh? they say monosyllables like ma, da, pa and they also do the uh, g sounds. <laughs> Nine months they say bi syllables like mama, dada, papa. Now Olive is in that stage and she says ta ta, mama, mama, mama. <laughs> yes, so she crawls and she comes to mama, mama. <laughs> so this is at her nine months. Yes. Ta -la -la -la. Mom, mom, mom. And coming to 12 months, that is after one year, they start using one or two words with meaning. They understand the meaning of the word and they use it. Now, for example, Olive is using what do <laughs> because my sister always says, hey, what do, hey, what do, whenever she touches something or whenever she does something. So she understood that what do means no. So she tries to use that with what do. And if she is angry, she scolds us with tap. <laughs> That means stop. <laughs> and when I ask Mrit Tau Tava, then she say, Tau 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 Tau. That girl she will eliminate, but she'll say Tau Tau. And then she st uh, said, in less than one year, nobody will believe. Actually, I want to record that, but whenever I, you know, like put the, cam the camera, yeah, whenever I switch on the camera, she stops that. <laughs> <laughs> By eighteen months, they learn at least eight to ten words of vocabulary. If you're here for so long, thank you so much. Please hit the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet. And at two years, they literally use sentences, but only using two or three words per sentence. And they also have the concept of me. So they use pronouns like I, me, you. For example, they can say, I want milk, uh, mama play. Something like that. That yeah. means mama play with me. Or no, no. I, mean, like, I want it. Yeah. I want Naku milk. Kawali. And Olive says. <laughs> Naku. <laughs> Dinu. <laughs> Whenever <laughs> see, she, uh, she sees her birthday video, she says. Ah, 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 nah, nah. <laughs> and when we ask Olive Everu, she says. <laughs> and at three years, it's the most cutest and the toughest fa phase where they ask you many questions. Yes. Why? Where? <laughs> what? What is this? What is that? Mm, yeah. And at three years, that means they are in LKG. Correct. Right? Correct. PP1. In and I they know their full name with their gender. Yes. They can differentiate between a boy and a girl. 
and at four years that means they come to UKG or PP2 they can actually tell recite some poems songs and they can tell stories so be ready for all those nursery rhymes and at five years it's also very difficult <laughs> they ask you meaning for every word they don't know yes so whenever you uh, you speak a sentence in that every single word they are going to ask you and you are going to have your brain fried and roasted <laughs> sanitizer and tainty mummy <laughs> yes mask and tainty mummy <laughs> so please be patient at this time try to That's explain a learning phase and, and don't kill their curiosity because right. that is how they be, they have their scientific curiosity uh, eagerness to learn so if you break this at this point of time they are going to you know lose that interest of learning so please encourage them to learn something new each day and if some delay occurs do not hesitate to reach a speech therapist yes that's very so that's it for this video i hope it was informative and useful we did our best to try to make you understand the stages and the milestones of language we'll see you with another milestones video coming up soon before leaving don't forget to hit the thumbs up and leave a comment down below where your baby is don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it we'll see you all in the next video bye bye